In this one, I want to talk about disconnects. This is a fusible disconnect, kind of a little cheapy thing. Got the funky little plug here. And there's fuses underneath here. Well, these disconnects, probably the most common failure on these things is bad connections. It's sometimes diagnosed as uh, maybe there's a short someplace to system because the fuse blew. But let's take a look a little closer in this thing and we can determine why this thing failed. Now we've got the cover off this thing and it should be obvious that there's a problem with the fuse on the right side. There's burn marks here. There's uh, discoloration here. In fact, there's discoloration over this entire uh, portion of the disconnect. This did not fail because of a short or excessive amp draw. That was not the issue with this thing. The issue was a bad connection in however it develops. Uh, if this was discolored, I would say the wire uh, terminal lug was loose. It's not discolored much, not like the rest of it. And this end is not discolored, so there's nothing from there up. This part is. Now, you know, just compare it to the other side. Uh, this is all like normal. Fuse looks good, everything. Fuse is probably not blown. I would be also looking at this, because this is a plug that goes in there. If these parts of this plug were discolored, uh, they've been hot, and that's where your problem is. So let's pull this fuse out of there and see what's going on. Now a closer look at this fuse, I mean it's really obvious. This part is not discolored, this part is. So what's happened is there's a bad connection in the disconnect and because of that bad connection, this overheated. Anything with a bad connection, a poorly tightened connection, whatever the heck, that means the fuse is, is going to blow because it got hot, not because it was overdrawing. Now let's take a quick look at this part here. Now, if you look at this, and you look at this one, I can feel, it's a little harder for you to feel, but this is fairly easy to move apart. This is much harder. That's because this has lost its heat treating. These are copper pieces and they're uh, heat treated copper. And when they get hot, they lose the heat treating. These sometimes will get so soft, they just bend all over the place like nothing. So, but you can see this whole thing, when you compare it to over here, this one's all discolored. That is a bad connection and disconnect. Looking a little closer at this fuse, you can see this end is loose. And a lot of times when you come to these things, uh, this whole part will be gone, it'll be burned away, and there'll be diatomaceous earth laying all over inside the disconnect. But that's what's happened to this fuse. Do not consider when something like that happens to a fuse that it's the fault of the fuse. It is not the fault of the fuse. There's no short, there's nothing, there's no overdraw, anything like that. The disconnect is defective. And how it happened, who cares? Uh, well, I care, I guess, but uh, if I saw it on the terminals, like here, like I said, or over here, I would uh, be concerned that the wires weren't tight. But the end result is when you uh, come onto this, don't try to squish these things down or something like that. None of that's going to work. 
Don't try to sand them off and make them clean because it's not going to help. You have to throw away the disconnect. That's also true of this part. Now, I've never found this part in a parts house. Maybe some guys can find them. I don't know. I doubt it. Because if this part is overheated, it's also overheated these parts in here. And, again, the disconnect is toast. So, when you come on to something like this, with a fuse that looks like that, replace the disconnect. There's no other fix. If you uh, try to squish it down, put a new fuse in it, whatever, all it will do is blow the fuse again. Uh, these things can be entirely melted inside. The plastic here could be melted. The plastic up here could be melted. All those things can happen. Usually due to either wires not being tightened or just for some reason, this not making good contact. Uh, remember, when you tighten these terminals where the wires go, do not cut them any slack. Tighten them very tight. Give them a good solid reef because they are carrying the load, and if they are loose, that's uh, it's going to cause a failure. I also, when I'm doing the service on, uh, say, an air conditioner with this disconnect on it, uh, I, uh, I tighten those wires in, too. But anyway, that's what it is. If there is a failure where you have burned up looking parts like that, that's bad connections, not overdraw power. That's it on this one.